Hi, I'm Alex, one of the makers of Agenda, a date-focused note-taking app that allows you to stay on top of the many things going on in your life. And the way it does that is by being available on your Mac, on your iPad, but also on your iPhone, which means that you can take notes or log your ideas or look up things any way you are. And the small screen of the iPhone means that sometimes it can be a bit harder to work on than, say, your Mac or your iPad. Now here are some tips that help you get the most out of Agenda for iPhone. In general, Agenda for iPhone works exactly the same way as on your Mac and your iPad. But because the screen is a lot smaller, we cannot permanently show the sidebars. So instead you have to swipe those in from the side. If you swipe from the left edge to the middle, you'll refill the sidebar. And if you swipe from the right side, you'll refill the inspector. The other thing you'll notice is that the header is slightly smaller and also automatically hides when you scroll down to show more of your notes. To reveal it again, simply scroll back a little and it will show again. And like on the iPad and the Mac, if you tap the name of the project at the top, it will reveal a table of contents with all the notes in your project and you can quickly jump to them. You'll also find here the option to change the sort order of your project. By default it shows notes with the latest date on the top. You can also sort them the other way around, for instance in the case of a journal. One tip is that you can scroll down this menu to reveal a search field that helps you to filter down this menu to the note you're looking for quickly. Now even quicker, you can do this in one go if you tap and hold the name of the project at the top. In that case, the menu shows and selects the search field for you so you can start typing and find your notes right away. And as you see, it even searches across all your projects, not just the one you were in. This can save you a ton of time. Next up is editing your notes. You'll notice that in contrast to the Mac and iPad, where if you tap or click the text, you immediately start editing, on iPhone, this is done in two steps. So tapping the note will only select it, and then a second tab will allow you to edit. So now that we're editing in the note, let me show you some tricks that you might find very useful. First up, an easy way to move around inside of a node is to tap and hold the spacebar and then start moving your finger. This allows you to put the cursor exactly where you want, which is often much easier than trying to tap it in one go at the spot that you'd like to pick. The second trick is that at the end of a sentence, if you do a double space, it will actually insert a period, saving you from having to go to the other page on the keyboard and inserting it that way. Finally, another nice trick during text editing is the three finger undo shortcut. If you double tap with three fingers on the screen, it will immediately undo. But of course you can also use the buttons on the keyboard bar for that. On iPhone that's very easy as well. Now these gestures work not just in Agenda but in any app on iOS, so those are great to remember. Let's move to some tips when it comes to organizing your notes and your projects. Earlier I mentioned already the keyboard bar, including the plus button that allows you to insert things like tags, links and much more. It also has some items that are especially useful on your iPhone. For instance, you can directly insert items from your photo library or take a picture with your camera and insert that. Or even scan a document with your camera and have it inserted as an attachment to your note in Agenda. Now once you're done editing, you can use the same keyboard bar by dismissing the keyboard by hitting this keyboard icon or another nice trick is to tap in the space between the note and the screen. It seems like a small space to hit, but in practice it's quite easy and I use it all the time to quickly dismiss the keyboard. There's basically two types of actions you can take on a note. One has to do more with organization or highlighting a certain note. For instance by placing it on the agenda or by pinning it to the top of your project. You do this by tapping the circle next to the title or the orange dot. Now one tip is that this menu also includes all the actions that are normally found in the gear menu here at the bottom. Now, of course, even easier than this menu is to not having to use a menu at all. For instance, if you want to collapse a note, simply double tap the title area of the note or what also works very nicely is to use a two finger pinch gesture to collapse a note. And if you want to expand the note, use again the pinch gesture to open it. Another nice trick to avoid having to use any menus is for instance if you want to move a note to a different project or to the trash for example. You can simply tap and hold the title area until the note starts floating and move your finger to the left edge of the screen until the sidebar reveals after which you can drag it into the project that you want or into the bin if you want to delete your note. But you can also even move it to the on the agenda overview or to the today overview 
to either put it on the agenda or to assign a note directly to today. Notice by the way how the pinch gesture also works in the sidebar to for instance collapse or expand a category. Another place where drag and drop can be very useful is in the inspector on the other side. Similarly I can also drag a note to the right edge of the screen and drop it onto an event to link that note to the event or I can drag it on a day to assign that day to the node. And of course the other way works as well. I can drag an event onto a node to link that event to the node. Now if you want to learn even more gestures or where you can use drag and drop, go to the agenda community and in the how to section you'll find a complete overview. I'll leave also a link in the description of this video. So the last few things I wanted to show have to do with how agenda integrates with iOS and how it works together with other apps. For instance by bringing information into agenda using its powerful sharing extension. Let me show you that one first. The sharing extension is a great way to import things into Agenda. This works from any app. Here we are in the Photos app where I have some photos from my recent diving trip. And I'd like to add them to my scuba diving project. This is super simple. Select the photo and hit the share button. Now the first time you do this, Agenda might not yet be visible in the list of applications to share to. So you'll have to scroll to the right and click on the more button. And look for Agenda in the list of suggested apps. If you tap on edit, you can activate agenda and even add it to your favorites so that it will always show up in the list the next time you share something. Now that agenda shows up, just tap the button and you will see our familiar islands show up. The next thing to do is to select to which node you want to share. You can do this by tapping the header at the top which shows you all your projects. You can then either select a project and pick a node or for instance if you recently edited the node that you're looking for you can use that option as well. You can also create a new project or new nodes inside of a project. Once you've picked a node, hit the insert button and the photo is attached at the end. But notice how the node is completely editable also after you attach your photo. Indeed you can just happily edit your node in any way you like. For instance you can add some extra comments or delete things. Check things as done or add more stuff if you happen to share to say your shopping list. And you can even switch to a different node and edit that one too. All within one go from any app on the system. So sharing is not only importing things into Agenda, add your thoughts, capture your ideas to make sure that you've got everything in one place. Which nicely brings us to the last thing I wanted to show, which are the Agenda widgets. The Agenda widgets give you access to your most relevant notes directly from your home screen. If you tap and hold the home screen to edit it, you will see this plus button in the top left corner. Tap it and find Agenda in the list of apps and it will show you three kind of widgets that you can add. You can choose either a single node or either three or five of your most relevant nodes. Tapping any of these will bring you straight away to the node in Agenda. Now I hope these tips will help you to get more out of Agenda for iPhone. Knowing that you have all your nodes always with you and that you have this one place where you can always capture any idea that comes up anywhere you are can give you a lot of peace of mind and help you to stay organized. Now of course I'm really curious to hear how you use Agenda on the go or perhaps whether I've missed a great tip for using Agenda on iPhone. Let me know in the comments or contact me or Drew on the Agenda community so we can share it in a future video. In the meantime, enjoy Agenda and I hope to see you in the next video.